What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. Right now, I'm at a memorial on this beach in California. This is a memorial sundial they made for Flight 261 of Alaska Airlines. It was a plane crash that happened on January 31st of 2000. I never talked about it in any of my YouTube videos until now, but it's one of the things that always made me afraid of flying on airplanes. I saw a documentary about this plane crash a long time ago, back in 2007. That was the year I watched the documentary. They were basically explaining what happened. The plane was leaving from Mexico and it was on its way to San Francisco and to Washington. But what ended up happening was the stabilizer got jammed and then the plane went into a nosedive. The pilots were then able to stabilize the plane once again, but after a while the stabilizer jammed again. Then the plane plunged and did a nosedive into the Pacific Ocean. 88 people were on that plane. 83 of them were passengers and five of them were crew. No one survived at all. It was really tragic and it was really sad. I wanted to come here and do this video for them so they're never forgotten. This sundial memorial was dedicated to all of them. All around the sundial are all the names of the 88 people who died in this plane crash. Another thing that I read about this memorial sundial is that every January 31st, it casts a shadow on 4.22 p.m. That was the time that the plane crashed into the Pacific Ocean. There's not much I can say about this, but it was a really sad and really unfortunate tragedy, and I felt sorry for all of them. Every time I think about flying on an airplane, this is always the plane crash that gets to me the most, and this is always the plane crash that always scared me the most. Ever since I first saw the documentary about it back in 2007 when I was 11 years old. And also, just so you guys know, I did not get to California by flight. I took a Greyhound here. I absolutely never want to fly on airplanes because the sad thing is, when you're on an airplane, someone else is in complete control of your life. It was absolutely tragic and absolutely devastating. And I felt sorry for all of them. May the passengers of Alaska Airlines 261 rest in peace.